Hey there, everybody on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be a video about knife sharpening. Um, what it is, is I'm not here to show off my knives or anything because that's just not, you know, I, I like knives and everything, but it, my nephew, he had this church that his grandpa used to have given back to him with some property and it's for a fundraiser for what the church needs for this next year and everything for the late weed net and everything and so they've been trying to figure out how to get money to do that so they can keep it and so i decided because i can sharpen knives that maybe some people would like to have their knives sharpened and so I wanted to show everybody my knives first and that I've sharpened all these so I wouldn't do anything to somebody else's knife that I wouldn't do to my own because I have some knives that are worth some money too and I know how it is with uh, custom knives. I mean, they're art. You're, you know, it's people say that you're crazy spending money on knives but when people buy art, they don't seem to think anything of it. Well, it's just a lot more <laughs> talent goes into or a lot more mechanical talent with your hands building this stuff goes into knives, I think, for me anyways, than uh, painting. But people that love painting should say this <laughs> same thing different. So, um, so I was just going to show you my knives and show you the edges that I have on them. I can't really do any paper cutting tests because I don't have a stand for my camera or my phone or anything. So just get through here. Uh, I have the sheaths sitting beside my knives here. This is a Microtech Black Marlin. I have not put an edge on here yet. I have a, it's a, actually a fake Edge Pro that I had given to me. And I bought all the good stones for it. So I've been using that and putting uh, mirror edges on on uh, my knives, custom edges. This was an old one that my grandpa had, um, an old Western, made in Boulder, Colorado. My camera is probably not even going to show you the edges on these really, but they're, they're not total mirror. They're pretty close. The, I have an 8,000 grit sharped in stone that is my finishing stone right now. I want to get a 16,000 grit to finish them up to a higher polish and probably get some of the diamond paste or spray to strop stuff too. But this is my Jeff White. This is a convex blade. Um, Bushcraft knife. This one is a Strato fighter. I don't know, they're kind of gimmicky. Um, I probably will want to sell this one, I think, but this is my EDC. It's Spartaco Paramilitary 2. I got a good edge on there. And they really, it just slices through the phone book paper like it's nothing, you know. It's just push cut through it. Can't really see on this stupid phone. But uh, Todd Bag, this is the Cladistine Hunter. Got a nice edge on there. You can see that one shining a little bit. I have not put a edge on this yet either. This is a Randall Kang, which you know they're not like super expensive knives or anything, but it's all aluminum handles and mirror blade. I have not put a pot, uh, edge on this one yet either, and uh, so that one will be coming up. Um, got the Leatherman Charge Titanium. The S30V, put an edge on that. All these things are really, really sharp. <laughs> Emerson, QCQ15, kind of ruined the tip on it along my years of having it and carrying it and sharpening it by hand, not really knowing what I was doing at that time, but I got a pretty... The black really shows off the mirror edges on that stuff, too. Just a uh, 
Kershaw bump or the speed bump, I think, or something that was called at the time. Just uh orange knife made in China that my daughters bought me at one time when they were younger. Uh, this is a boker. Top lock. This thing just seems to take an edge so easy. It just gets just scary, scary sharp. This is a run. So I can... Uh, you know, I can sharpen knives for people. I'm thinking this one, I haven't put an edge on it yet. So I haven't got to all of my knives yet, but old timer, or this is Shred, old timer Shred. That one gets really sharp too, but I haven't put an edge on that or this one. This is just a Japan steel knife. It's a Microtech Kirihi. Uh, This was going to be the one that I was going to do today, but I haven't did it yet. But this is really sharp anyways. We'll get that crappy edge that's on there fixed though. But it takes a long time to do these edges. <coughs> uh, like this buck. Uh, <laughs> kind of hard with one hand. This buck 110. I timed doing this yesterday. And... Just reprofiled the blade a little bit. Well, actually, I kind of just followed. I changed, switched it a little bit, but do like a 19 degree bevel on it. So what a 38 degree inclusive bevel, and then put like a six six degree micro bevel on them. And it took an hour to do this, and this was this was an easy one. Because it was pretty well, I mean, it was not beat up or anything. You get one that somebody's got really beat up, it can take <laughs> a long time to do. Um, this one's real sharp. This is the uh, Scandi grind on here. And then this one I haven't done yet either. This is my Bill Kofi Custom. Flipper and this thing is just butter smooth too. You don't even have to hardly push that. Um, got the Damascus bolster, carbon fiber, jeweled titanium liners, carved titanium backspacer on it, high polish blade. But what I uh, what I'm gonna do with these knives, and I'll probably do a video sharpening this one. Um, I don't like using that blue tape that, uh, you know, put on the blades so they don't get marked up and, you know, it gets wet from using the stones and everything. And it just, it, it's a mess. And I want to really protect somebody's knife. Cause if they send me their knife like that one with a high polished blade on it, I want to make sure there's going to be no marks on it. So you can get this, like this plastic dip that you would like dip your handle, your channel locks in. And pull it out and let it dry. I'm going to try that with uh, them knives that I have with the polished blades. I'm going to dip the whole blade in that plastic dip like that. And I'll let them dry. And then I'll just cut off right on the edge of the bevel where I'm going to be doing the work. And then when I'm all done with the knife, then I will take all the plastic off of the blade. And it should be like brand new. It's just like how you get them tool bits and the carbide tip bits and stuff that are plastic dipped when you get them. So be no different really. So... I just wanted to put that out there so if somebody sent me their knife they can trust me that i'm gonna treat it like my own knife better than i treat my own knife because i don't want anything to happen to somebody else's knife so uh i can put a killer edge on them for you a mirror app mirror mirror polish i'm gonna be getting some new some new stones uh, i want to get a full set of the shaptons for it because they are a really sweet uh, stone they don't make hardly any mess no slurry you don't have to soak them you just wet them down just a little bit and they cut like they, they cut good at that 6,000 or it's a yeah I have a 6,000 I don't know if I said 8,000 before or not but it's a 6,000 grit that's my highest one right now and for that that really cuts nice just for 
that high of a grit. So, um, just trying to raise some money for the Church of the Three Crosses. That's what the name of that place is. So, thank you much, and maybe I'll be sharpening some of your guys' knives. Thanks.